Hello guys, my name is Ken and today I will show you the refresh tool. Okay, basically refresh tool is a proxy tool that can refresh your web browser based on the file system's updates. Okay, let me show you how it works. So it's a Node.js application, so you can install over N npm and call again like a bin here helps so we have the help here so basically we need to <coughs> to call refresh uh, giving it some variables like uh, the server that we want to <coughs> to up okay our proxy server like uh, 127.0.0.1 uh, our port okay so the the local port uh, the remote server okay uh, like an Apache HPD server or uh, JBoss server <coughs> any web server that you want okay why because refresh scan uh, will be act like a, a proxy server so it can uh, refresh the web browser based on the file system updates and <coughs> will pass like a proxy over another web server instance why because this way I can uh, start coding my Java stuffs or my PHP stuffs and have a live preview of these stuffs okay on my web, web browser <coughs> so let's start the refresh here refresh here at my localhost in the 1337 port and my remote host will be even my local host at the AT port, okay, because it's the, the full <coughs> Apache port. And the directory that I will watch uh, will be the var www html, okay. So basically, starting this, okay, server started, blah, 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 blah. here is my Apache web server, and here is my. refresh proxy server okay so how it works simple I'll open my sublime text here and <coughs> everything that I update on this file or this directory will start an event that will refresh my web browser here this way I can code in any IDE or any text editor okay and I can have the live preview feature here so basically our tool and when I save it there is our code so can you say that it's a proxy because you can call any other web server like uh, JBoss or Apache and we can start to see what happens with our PHP stuffs and job stuffs and other write this so I will create a new folder here something like a class and I'll code some stuff here like uh, the file user class so class user user has name user have uh, email This name will receive the filter var function with name and some filter var flag filter sanitize string here turn this and public function set email email here and here we can have a validation like uh, if filter var email filter validate email here if it was false so throw new exception invalid email the correct here is be an invalid ar argument exception but anyway it will work too <coughs> Fine, and this email go equal email and he turn this. 
I won't call the getters here, just a two string function. Two string here. Return. Let me save this file. Uh, User.php. Okay, nice. We will return name this name email this email here save it okay it refreshes here like you can see okay nothing happens so let's put something here like uh <coughs> let's include that file here i won't create an auto loader just for this example php okay here also require ons uh, class dot u slash user dot php <coughs> u equals new user u set name can set email let me <coughs> But a wrong email here just to see if it will uh, throw an exception like a uh, la 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 save <coughs> okay that's the exception okay and the user <laughs> sorry so 13 line here <coughs> oh where's the error here let me see, T string, maybe some. Where you? What are you? God damn it! Here, filter, should allow here if throw new. Function <laughs> here, right? So, okay belong string given 15 here oh. well it's long filter validate email here okay sublime okay someday I will buy you sorry oh cinnamon <coughs> cancel here so back to the refresh here okay so here we have the exception with invalid email right cool so back to the code here <coughs> put in a valid email j at gmail.com save okay it's working nice and where is this information that I put in two string simple let's call here the equal of the u object save it and <coughs> That's it. Name, email, nice. Uh, I said that this tool uh, can manage your file system updates in with recursion. So here at class folder, I can update this file, and it will refresh our browser too. Like we can see there. Okay, nice. Why? Because here we are using the inotify extension for node that uses the inotify of our kernel Linux. Okay, so basically this. We can start coding some stuff here and every file system updates we will have a refresh at our web browser. This way we can have the live preview feature with any kind of IDE or text editor uh, that you want to use to use simple so that's it thanks refresh